Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's further final video. We're going to have a look at the weather in 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extra GFS and ECM ensembles. Great ones around the couple weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us into the second half of May and I shall get on with that for you in a moment <laughs> just to say that the first video release day was our 6 a.m uk weather forecast and we'll also release european outlook as well please check out those two vids if you'd like to do that like share subscribe on videos and thank you so much for doing that i hope you're having a lovely 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 thursday Okay, let's crack on then, shall we? We're going to start off with CET, as always. So, the temperature is now sitting at 8.3, <laughs> which is just 0.4 of a degree above uh, average. So, basically, within half a degree of 61 to 90, 90 average. Um, that's probably about as well as you're going to get, but I will suspect that's going to tick up a bit over the next couple of days as we come to uh, Mount Saint. So, I'd imagine that's probably going to finish up about 8.5, maybe. That's a little bit more, anywhere from 8.5 to 8.7, I would think, will be the finishing number. So it shouldn't be too far from long-term averages. Uh, now, these are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. And uh, why is he laughing? Why is that? You wonder why is he laughing? Uh, we're looking at Wrexham <laughs> again today. And um, let's just start with Cam on. So, if anybody saw um, yesterday. <laughs> video they will have seen me promoting Rex on ASC to the Premier League actually. Um even though they I bet that came as a surprise to them really, didn't it? Um actually they've been promoted I think to League Three, is it I dunno. Uh, I'm not a football expert, you see in fact uh, <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. When it comes to football, I'm not laughing. Um, so, uh, I really should have gone off on that tangent, should I? Because, um, uh, you know, I should stick to what I know, which is the weather, and, uh, and you know, <laughs> keep quiet about what I don't like football. So, anyway, thank you to all of those of you who uh, corrected me. About my little faux pas uh, yesterday, and uh, well, wherever they've been promoted to, congratulations anyway to uh, Wrexham AFC. And uh, it is a story, though, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day when they get, if they do ever get to the Premier League, you'll have to come back to this and it'll be a premonition. Gab will have had a premonition. I'll have, I'll have used my psychic powers. Um. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I'm so sorry to uh, any fan supporters of uh, Wrexham ASC, but it was quite <laughs> quite funny, wasn't it? Um, anyway, that's Gab. You know, nobody does it like Gab, as I keep saying. I keep telling everybody this. Nobody does it like Gab. And, uh, sometimes that can be a good thing. Sometimes that could be a bad thing. Like yesterday. <laughs> but the one thing that nobody can, um, you know, take away from me is that nobody does it like Gav. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a look at the uh, upper air temperatures and precipitation ensembles. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy, for the next couple of weeks. And again, we're looking at Wrexham today, newly promoted but not to the Premier League. So the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Wrexham. <laughs> starting, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, around a little bit above average at the moment. And uh, we're going to find the upper air temperatures being going down through, I'm so sorry, buddy. In the middle of next week, just for a day or two, and then they'll pick up again, actually, uh, as we go towards the coronation period. Be professional, can't be professional, do day job, do day job. And then out into the second week of uh, May, keep those off red tapes on, I think. 
I'm very sorry, but I'm making myself cough now. Um, uh, for the second week of May, we find the uh, upper air temperatures around to a little bit above average. Overall, over the next uh, fortnight, looks like the upper air temperatures are going to be a bit above normal. Precipitation-wise, so we've got more wet weather to come uh, today and tonight. Obviously, there will be showing conditions over the bank holiday weekend as well. Turning drier. For a few days to be on the part of next week, but again, around the coronation period, maybe a little bit afterwards now, we find that the precipitation spikes come back. So, a drier spell through the first week of May, and then uh, possibly getting a little bit more unsettled again through the second week of May. Temperature anomalies from the 27th of April for Bipper Bay, generally a little bit above average, particularly so for Ireland, England, Wales, and precipitation anomalies uh, from the 27th of April to 5th of May. Bit wet and average just out to our northwest, near normal to a bit uh, drier than average elsewhere. Latest wind from that from Earth Nostral .net shows we've got an area of low pressure just to our west. That be coming eastwards across the country today, but notice the southerly southwesterly starting to uh, get going. That is the end of cold spell that we've had uh, recently. So although we're bringing rain, that rain is uh, you know a herald of milder temperatures. Right, let's start going through chart data then. Mrs. Abbey, you commit your road is looking for midnight on Sunday. Low pressure out to our west, and we're dragging up wind from more of a solid direction. Could be showering through the uh, bank holiday weekend to bank holiday Monday. Then high pressure ridging more strongly across the country Tuesday to Wednesday. And that looks quite warm with that area of high pressure as well. I reckon that could get temperature into below 20 Celsius if they're given uh, enough sunshine through the middle of next week. <coughs> I'm so sorry once again. And uh, that's as far as we get to the UK. Your run to mid uh, midnight on Thursday next week. Still high pressure dominating, still bringing in quite a warm southerly south east flow. Low pressure is gathering though in the Atlantic. Does that low have um, the king and queen's name, <laughs> name on it? Is that low going to wash out the coronation? We shall see. Uh, Icon, again, showing that uh, we're uh, under slack, gre slack, I should say, slack gradients through the bank holiday weekend. And then on Tuesday, the Wednesday, high pressure will build more strongly uh, across the country. That high pressure there moves towards the east as we go into the second half next week. We are putting in a very warm, or warm anyway, possibly very warm, sub east south BC flow. Again, we have got low pressure in the Atlantic. It is waiting in the wings. Is that low pressure going to get in in time to wash out the coronation? GFS midnight run. Um, again, with both slack gradients over the bank holiday weekend, so likely to be showery before high pressure properly takes over by the middle of next week. Into the second half of next week, this is Friday, high pressure is still in control of weather, gradually slips towards Poland by Saturday, 6th of May, Coronation Day, with lower pressure edging in from off the Atlantic. Is that being turned a bit more unsettled for Coronation Weekend? Possibly. I mean, it turns properly <laughs> unsettled after that, actually, it's Tuesday night, beyond day 10, but low pressure in off the Atlantic, bringing uh, showers along the spells of rain, and then back to those sort of slack gradients again, uh, beyond that. The GFS 6th uh, run, very latest, once more looks rather showery over the um, course of the bank holiday weekend. Then high pressure builds more strongly uh, for the middle part of next week. Now, that high pressure sticks around, though, um, into the coronation weekend. So this looks all right for coronation day. Again, this is 6th of May, uh, day line with high pressure closer to a terrain and control. Wind still coming in. That southerly southeast direction that will give a mostly dry and warm coronation, I think. And uh, the ridge actually continues all the way through the coronation weekend. It's not until afterwards that lower pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic, turning things cooler and uh, more unsettled through the second week of May. That's how look as we get to the end of the GFS 6Z run, still with low pressure in control. But we do get a dry coronation. If uh, you're enjoying the video, then please can you or like, share, and subscribe. If you show sure everybody doing that, why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Web. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. <coughs> right, okay, through the GM. Again, we've got the slack gradients over the back body. Weekend, so uh, still quite showy. Then high pressure reaches in from the north as we get into the middle of next week, being mostly dry weather. With it high pressure in control through to the end of next week, but starting to pick up more of an easterly wind with that area of high pressure 
And so just starting to turn uh, a little bit more unsettled. Uh, right, okay, so just to check some, that's Bursley, that's Bursley, okay, that's all right then. So just so I get a little bit more unsettled uh, by the time we get through to the coronation weekend with more of an easy drift, it's certainly cooler, probably cloudier, and for the east, maybe a few showers as well. ECM uh, looks like this, so uh, again, we're looking at uh, sh uh, like a slack rain, showery drop over the uh, weekend into the middle of next week, high pressure builds strongly across the country. And then for the second half of next week, it's a case of watching the high pressure weaken as we go towards the coronation weekend with lower pressure starting to head in from off the Atlantic. This low is threatening here for the coronation weekend. There will be a lot of heavy rain um, tied in with that area of low pressure. Is that going to be a spoiler low? Um, we shall see. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometo got from Tometio.com, even wet weather pushing across the country today and tonight. Then we turn drier over Bank Holiday weekend, but not completely dry. There will be these heavy showers breaking out and uh, whatnot with the Bank Holiday weekend. Uh, on into the middle next week, though, we get a few days of dry weather under that area of high pressure as we get towards the coronation weekend. Again, there's the wet weather gathering just to our west and south, where it's threatening. Uh, threatening things there. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. This gets us to the 7th of May. 24 members of the ECM ensembles including the control and the operational run having a uh, lower pressure breaking through actually. So starting to turn more unsettled there by uh, day 10, 15 again, <clears throat> excuse me, with low pressure out to west, and then 12, just keeping a little bit of higher pressure going just to our north. In two weeks' time, this is the option that we've got. It will get us to the 12th of uh, May, and again, it looks pretty unsaid to have low pressure in from off the Atlantic Ocean. CFSV2 finding means a 500 millibar height and knowledge breaking down. In two week periods, first week period takes from 27th of April to 3rd of May. The coming week have a ridge of high pressure across western parts of Europe, being mostly dry weather with it. Week two, going to be the 4th to the 10th of May. High pressure still in control in this week. Low pressure out in the Atlantic, um, but held at bay. Week three sees a change. It's the 11th, 17th of May. The high pressure goes back north again. And the low pressure comes in from off the Atlantic. So that's turning much more unsettled there through the middle part of May. And then uh, week four looks like that's still quite unsettled. It's the 18th to the 24th of May. Low pressure anchored just to the west of Ireland. Probably quite warm with winds in from, from the southwest. But uh, quite unsettled. That low pressure bringing spells of rain. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth's where I mean, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have the 6M UK weather forecast. We will have the EC42 day forecast tomorrow morning. Uh, different uh, time for that. But that will be coming up tomorrow morning. Probably by a jamming frame and a 10 to 14 day. So four videos tomorrow. Uh, the reason that the EC42 broadcast is tomorrow rather than Saturday morning is because on Saturday morning during the second summer 2023 season one round where we will get 15 one five long range models together to see what they're all showing for summer for the second time this um, season. So we've got to pull the uh, EC42 day back to Friday uh, this week. Okay, so that's the plan. I shall see you uh, tomorrow with tomorrow's videos, but for today's videos, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and bye for now.